Can you afford to go flying around the world in your very own airplane? Private jet travel has long been a well-known symbol of luxury and affluence. A quick scroll through anybody's Instagram will reveal dozens of selfies of billionaires and famous personalities boarding the likes of a Gulfstream G650 or an Airbus ACJ320 off to some wonderful location. But just how rich do you need to be to own your own set of wings? There are a lot of misconceptions about the true cost of buying and maintaining a private jet. So whether you're seriously considering to buy one of these bad boys or just plain curious about what the world's richest are spending, stick around because today we're going to be breaking down the real cost of owning a private jet. Let's start with the most obvious question, shall we? And that's, how much does it cost to buy a private jet? Well, like with anything else, it really depends on what you're looking for. At the entry level, you've got small jets like the Cirrus Vision SF50. This little bad boy seats five adults and two kids, pilots included, and at $2 million is perfect for short flights. Keep in mind though, there's no toilet on board the standard model, so be sure you go before you board. The cabin has very large windows as well. It is called the Vision Jet after all, but what if you're after something a little more luxurious? Something with a little more room to stand in and even has a bathroom for those long haul flights. In that case, you're probably going to want to upgrade to anything from a Learjet 75 to your very own Airbus A380. With a price tag of $400 million, the A380 is one of the most expensive and lavish airplanes ever built. With room for as many as 800 passengers, the double-decker's sheer size means it's an occasion whenever a super jumbo arrives. Although it's a commercial airplane, an Airbus A380 owned by Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal has been customized into a flying palace for an added $100 million. It's said to have a concert hall, a Turkish bath, a garage for a Rolls Royce, and even a prayer room with electronic mats that automatically rotate to face Mecca and is by far the world's most expensive private jet in the world. So the sky's the limit, really. On a more realistic note though, most private jets can set you back anywhere from three to $90 million, depending on the size, range, and features you're after. Now let's talk running's cost, something most people don't consider when buying a private jet. The ability to travel almost immediately is appealing to those who maintain long distance business relationships and keeping your jet well maintained and crew on call at all times comes at a serious cost. And hearing that unforeseen costs like a cracked windshield could cost you upwards of $50,000 to repair might scare off the most of us. But that's just the beginning. From insurance to maintenance to crew, a lot goes into running a jet. Plus, there are variable costs that will probably increase the more you fly. So it really depends on how much and how far you travel. But as a rule of thumb, light jets could cost you as little as $500 an hour, whereas heavy jets can easily cost 100 times as much. The Cirrus, for example, can cost as little as $660 an hour to keep in the air, while an Airbus A380 can run you up to $30,000 an hour. And who knows how much the Prince spends to keep his flying palace. On average, most private jets fly anywhere from 250 to 500 hours a year. Taking the Cirrus into consideration, that would be anywhere from $165,000 to $330,000 a year in operating costs. Flying an Airbus A380 for about the same amount of time could easily cost you upwards of $5 million a year to run. So there you have it. How much does it cost to own a private jet? It really depends on how much you fly and what kind of luxury features you're after. So the sky is the limit. For you, the answer could lie anywhere from a couple of millions dollars to pretty much infinity. How much you would spend on your own jet, or would you not buy one at all? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.